getting to mix Doja Cat is just a treat. As far as the mixing process goes, it was just a really smooth experience. The session that Ryan sent over sounded really, really nice. Her vocals sounded great. Things were dialed in. There was a lot of EQ and compression and plugins just already populated on the session. So they had the beat sounding a certain way. They had the stacks of vocals sounding a certain way, as well as her vocal effects. So a lot of the sound of the record that you hear now was, was already embedded into that when I received it. There were just a, a couple of opportunities to just embellish and just add impact. It's a game of just small, subtle tweaks. The finished vocal that you hear on the masters or on the radio, it's not a vocal running through 10 buses and chains of plugins and with this effect feeding into that. No, absolutely not. It's an EQ and a compressor, a delay and a reverb, all doing very, very little. She has a controlled delivery and impeccable mic technique and great tone. And the mixer's job is to just leave it alone and don't do too much because it doesn't need it. It's so incredible to see the impact that these recordings have had on other human beings and the culture as a whole. And this album and the single, it completely took off and, and took all of us by surprise. I don't know if any of us were expecting things to shoot into the stratosphere the way that they have. I'm so, so grateful to have been a part of this.